Hey, howdy cowdies. Hope you're all going all right. Merry Christmas and all that sort of thing. Walk about time at the collector. It's the last auction for the year. We've got a little auction this week. 185 lots, I think. There's some cool stuff as per usual. Nice little silver cigarette boxes. This one over the back. It's got an inscription to a bricklayer or something. They're all nice chase decoration. There's a lovely little Chatelaine purse there as well. A couple of bits of gold. Nice cherry amber bead necklace. Another nice little gold and amber necklace in the blue box over the back. There's some nice things in the jewellery cabinet. I've got some cool furniture. Nice mid-century chest of drawers. This little sort of arts and crafts desk is really cute. 1920s with the carved sort of doors on the bottom there and on the little top. It's cool with a little sort of shelf across the back of it. Really unusual, nice little bit. Nice little framed original sort of 1920s print. Little arts and crafts two-fold screens, pretty cool as well. Nice art deco display cabinet. What else have we got? There's heaps of nice mid-century furniture and some cool clothes. Another nice little mid-century sort of cupboard there with the louver doors. Little secretaire's pretty cool as well. It's got the nice little black legs on it and the big round knobs. A lot of this furniture's been made by a chap in the 1950s from Heathcote. Uh, Michael James, I think his name was. He was an aircraft engineer. So some of this stuff he's made, some of it he's sort of added to. Like I don't think those louver doors are original on that. I think he's actually added them to that. But it suits. Cool ladies' hats. Another cool one. Another cool little box lot. Nice little mid-century plant stand. This is cool. It's, we've got some good clothes. This is like an I Dream of Genie sort of outfit. Uh, what else we got? A men's perp, uh, blue velvet suit. Some jockey silks. These are nice vintage ones. Um, Western shirts. A couple of Wrangler Pearl Snap sort of denim ones in there. 70s shirts, cool 80s three-piece suit. It's got a matching vest rather than a waistcoat. Summer shirts, more cool vintage jockey silks. What else we got? More shirts, some cool vintage baseball tops, more suits, jockey silks, sort of 19, sort of 30s, sort of 50s suits. Shirts is a really cool poncho. Over the back here, which I actually thought was a tablecloth when it came in, but it looks to be reversible. Cool blue velvet cape. Some more ladies' hats. More ladies' hats. More ladies' hats. Dolls. Some nice carpenters' planes and tools. Good little stereo system. Skylander toys. Playboy magazines. Heaps of cassette tapes all in their original cases. Little box of toys, there's some nice um, HO gauge railway gear, Australian Monopoly board and a cool vintage Santa. <laughs> nice little overmantle, box of 45s, box of train stuff, group of mixed items, there's a kendo stick in there, drum stuff, it's a fantastic TP, more tools, more good stereo gear. A box that someone dug up off the front lawn. <laughs> Two boxes of dolls. Heaps of cool sort of cap guns. Nice little cigarette cases. Babushka dolls. And a little bobblehead one. <laughs> cool little retro coffee table. I like the sort of metal in the wood. Little Victorian hall table there with a nice little Victorian sort of style chair. Some cool paintings and prints. Nice big sort of mid-century bookcase, kitchen hutch, whatever you want to call it. Once again, this has been made. You can see the sort of little dowels coming in here where he's actually kept the shelves in. That is really nicely made stuff. Good gear. Uh, there's some more I'll show you in a minute. Cool radiogram with everyone's favourite record, Alan Gardner's accordion band. The ears on that kid. Victorian chairs, industrial sort of, you know, desk and some chairs and a cool coat rack, some nice framed prints, sort of modern camera gear, 
pretty cool old Arcadia 2001 console game with a couple uh, with a couple of games. Kids toys, there's some cool stuff in there. Torpedo boat, perfume bottles, little mix lot with some paintings, and a little sort of spanking stick. <laughs> Mix lot ladder, some cool old military satchels, a coit set, golf clubs, and a little homemade teepee. Four boxes of kitchen alia, some nice gear in there. Audio, reel to reel, record player, and a box of reel to reel tapes, microphones, and stuff. Another nice mid century little chest. I reckon this bloke's added the little back unit to it. I can tell why his joins, and it's oak, it's different from the rest of the timber. Some metal things, big saw, another nice mantle mirror, what else we got, audio gear, some planet lamps, this one, the green one's a bit damaged unfortunately here, don't think that can be fixed, but the base is cool, two boxes, some sort of boxed as new good quality crystal and glassware, nice jewel turntable and a pair of interdin speakers, Little mixed group lot, rugs and mirrors and lamps and stuff. Two boxes of dolls. So we've got some toys. Some more toys. There's a cool little huckleberry hound and some little puffy stickers. And that. Pictures, watercolours, prints, paintings on tiles and some old suitcases. Horse harness and a bit. TG Green China. Tobacco tins and stuff. Uh, cool furniture. Some more cool mid-century stuff. Little homemade again. Little bedside there, but he's got his nice little hairpin black metal legs on it. Have a cool little cupboard as well. Nice little cane tub chair. Nice little display cabinet. Cool record player. It's nice, the Fleur Teak dining table. It's got the little sort of sticker on the back here. Really like this little shelving unit with the one sliding door. It's a cool little fiberglass chair attributed to Fred Lowen from Fleur. I think he made one called the FG chair and this is pretty damn similar. A couple of globes. Really like this little kitchen cupboard with the three legs. <laughs> really like as well this little bedside. Once again with a little metal sort of Sputnik legs. And these are ha homemade again I'm pretty sure. But really nice contemporary with, with with what other people are doing at the time. Uh, what else have we got? Some cool paintings this week. Got some nice watercolours by Marion McGibbon. This is a lovely big still life, Gladioli. It's got a little bit of foxing, unfortunately. But nice 1930s watercolour. Big David Nelson oil painting, sort of 70s Australia. Fiona James Aboriginal oil is a nice little thing. Another nice Marion McGibbon. Uh, the Yarra at Ivanhoe, that's another nice one by her as well, called Sunlight and Shadow. We've got another nice Prince of Napoleon, in all original frame and everything. Another nice little watercolour Ingrid Cruiser, I think. What else have we got? Some good kids books, Bunyip says so. It's got nice plates through it uh, by good old Reginald Ward Sturgis, one of the blotting paper school. But there's some nice Australian kids books in there. Big lot of South Pacific Heaps of Dayville movie posters. There's about bloody 50 of them in there. And heaps of programs as well. Cool old sort of military World War I caricature prints. Really like the bathing reserve sign. This is cool. It's like a racing car set with transforming robots or transforming cars. Real sort of late 80s, kind of pretty cool. Nice big comport. A little box of knickknacks, celluloid and carved bone boats and little carved wooden bears on sleighs. This is pretty cool, a French porcelain sort of caricature chess set. Some nice lawn bowls, there's lignum vitae ones in there or something. Cool instruments, really like this bell. Nice little round mirror, mirrored frames, pretty cool. Nice movie poster, Louis Bunuel, Belle de Jour. Cool big English mixing bowl. I don't think it's TJ Green, but it's someone else pretty good. Nice little sort of brand new pool cue. Graphite composite, warp resistant. Fancy blue. Momo steering wheel with a Ford Boss to go with it. And a set of snooker balls. 
Nice lot of crystal, Stuart, another glass. A little lot of English dishes. Good old F4 Phantom. It's just missing one of the bloody wheels from the undercarriage, but it's 118 scale, 148, and it weighs a ton. It's all die cast. Cool retro ice crusher. Nice little lot of ephemera. This little guessing game is really nice, 1930s. Little lot of toys, stencils. Nice little Chad Valley tin money box. Couple of Porsches, some good Barbies. Nice bubble cut one over the back there. Couple of Australian 70s horror comics. Really like this panoramic photograph. Looks like a um, factory or something. Probably wartime. This bloke's, looks like he's been a little bit dirty faced. And look at this kid on the end. He's been up the chimney or something. But these are really cool. She's pregnant over the back. Really cool photograph. You can almost make out some text up the top here of what the factory might have been. There's no writing on the back. Uh, what else we got? Blue and white china. Nice big lot of sort of crafty sewing stuff. Nice lot of Carlton ware. More Carlton ware. With a lot of EP and pewter with the nice candlesticks. Coalport figure, Limoges and some other stuff. We like the little brass cobras. Blondie records. More English china. Big Coalport dinner set. It's all in good condition. Lovely big lot. Really like the milk carrier there with the old milk bottles and they're from different sort of dairies, Malvern. Uh, that one from Ballarat or something. Or Canterbury up in Sydney, Rose Hill. Italian fish plates. These are good, the sliding rulers. Ladro quacker and a couple of bits of glass. Pyramid phone. A couple of clocks ticking away. He's out of an old car dash. Another cool 148 Harrier jump jet in good condition. This is a 118 uh, Lotus Formula One, driven by good old Graham Hill. A pair of nice little Satsuma vases, a couple of little Beswick woofer dogs, nice pair of poker work plaques, whiskey jug, little sort of 1850s or something, English cup and saucer. And yeah, that'll sort of do us. Anyway. Stay safe over Christmas and all the rest of it. I hope you've been good and Santa bring you want, brings you what you want. We're back on the 10th of January. We'll see you then. If you are successful this week, guys, we're closing at 3 p.m. on Friday. So try and get you in and get your gear out of here. Thanks very much. Stay safe. Be good.